Hello and welcome to the October edition of Today from the Heart. I'm Morgan. And I'm Paige, and we're broadcasting from the David J. Bloom Broadcast Suite. We are so excited to be your anchors this year and show you all of the great pieces in this month's episode. Let's start off by welcoming the new dynamic duo, Mr. Olson and Mrs. Benson. I was hired uh, to be the head of the middle school back in 2005, so I've been in the same position for these past 14 years. I think every single job I have had here has helped prepare me for this job, and every experience, even the unpleasant ones, help shape you and shape the way you are going to handle an interaction, a conversation. Everything we do in life prepares us for the next adventure. And I can rely on my experiences from previous, dealing with previous issues uh, to help me shape my response to the next issue I'm dealing with, but it's never perfect and it's never clean. And you asked about my ability with names. Uh, I don't have any special gift, I just practice. Being a parent of an alum has been both rewarding for me, and I'll use my daughter Tori as an example a lot of the times when I talk about challenging situations she had and the resilience she developed in dealing with those. And then also as me as a parent, being there to both support her, but also support the school, knowing they always had her best interest in mind. So I am the father to an eight-year-old boy named Calvin, and it's had a huge impact on who I am as a person and who I am as a, an educator. And I always knew that parents love their children more than they can ever explain, but I could never really understand that, and now I get it, and I get how hard it is to be a parent, and I get how hard middle school can be. This is the fourth school I've worked at, and by far it's my greatest experience. I love Sacred Heart more than I can ever explain, and it's sort of a mix of the all-girls environment is as good as it gets, and I've worked in co-ed middle schools for many years, and I've seen how hard that can be, and to see our girls really flourish here is just spectacular. And the other thing that's great, we're a Sacred Heart school, and our faith is important to us, and it shapes who we are and how we treat each other. So Sacred Heart's been spectacular for me, and I hope I've helped the school in some small way. Thanks, Anna, Ava, and Ryan. To kick off the Halloween season, let's learn how to make some holiday-themed treats. If that doesn't get you in the Halloween spirit, I don't know what will. Thanks, Olivia and Christine. We all know her from morning meeting, but let's take a closer look into a day in the life of our president. I'm a lifer, so I've been going to Sacred Heart since kindergarten, which is my 13th year. I think I was interested in being student body president because I've gone to the school for such a long time and I have such great friends here and um, I know the community really well and I think with that um, I have a lot of ideas of like things that I would want to see, especially my last year at Sacred Heart um, and I had been on student council um, in years prior, so I knew it was something that I was really interested in. I get nervous every single day when I get up. Actually, no, it's getting better. I'm, you know, 
Um, when I started, as you could probably tell, I was very nervous doing the morning meetings. Um, now I'm a little more comfortable. Your uh, karma diem challenge for the day is to uh, say hi to your longer neighbor. All right, you guys have a great day. Have a guys. My piece of advice for anyone during the year would be just carpe diem, seize the day. Thanks, Hillary. Sacred Heart recently added a new class to the senior science curriculum. Let's learn about the seniors who made it all happen. My sophomore year, I went on the service learning trip that Sacred Heart hosts to New Orleans, and we visited our sister school there, and they have a synthetic ca cadaver as well, but there's, it's not digital. And I remember I went home and I said to my parents, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing. I wish we had this at Sacred Heart. And they were like, well then, why don't you propose it? And I spoke to Mrs. Mussolino with Mrs. Casey and Mrs. Collins. Working with the electronic cadaver is so cool. Like the first day, Adri and I, mm -hmm. and Olivia, but Olivia's more relaxed. We were like jumping up and down. And they're like real people who have passed. They have like all their medical history and they took photos of like all of their systems. So it's like very accurate. It basically starts with a full image of a human being with all of their skin, all of their organs, and there's a little scale on the bottom and you drag your finger across it and slowly it takes off the layers of skin, um, it takes off the different tissues, takes off muscle, and then reveals like the nerves underneath. Originally what I had proposed was what our sister school had. Just Mussolino got back to me and she said, we're not sure that that cadaver would be right for us, but we did find this animatage table. We spent our entire summer training to be an EMT, which is an emergency medical technician. Through Greenwich Emergency Medical Services. And and right now we're currently in the middle of getting our state certifications. It was about 200 hours plus, yeah. plus, and then you have to do additional hours in the ambulance working with the people on the ambulance like in real life situations and also in the hospital, in the hospital. as well. I proposed the class but I was so grateful that the administration was like, receptive to it and they created it and made it happen. It's good to know that there are EMTs walking around the hallways. Thanks Madeline and Ella. Now let's see how volleyball gets hyped for their big games. I mean, my favorite moments are like when there's a like you know there's a really hard hitter mm -hmm. and you can just like get a good dig from that hitter and you're like yes I finally got it. Usually from up past games, we'll look at our stats and mm -hmm. like what we need to work on, and then we'll spend the next practices kind of focusing on the mistakes we made in the last game. We make like goals and stuff, and then like. During the practice, we'll like count, oh, how many hits do you get? Compare it to your goal, so like you can yeah. be better prepared. We have a lot of cheers, and then we have the Honor Hard Hustle one. Oh, that's, yeah. That's kind of like a. Honor Hard Hustle one. gets you really, really pumped up. Yeah. And you're like, all right, I'm about to go on the court and do my thing. Like, right. just really mm -hmm. battle out there. One thing we do every, I think before every game, is we do a Hail Mary. When you know we're playing tap or like king in the finals, when yeah, the gym is just crazy with fans, mm -hmm. um, and it's just like like super adrenaline filled. Go hard, go! Go hard, go! It's really awesome. Come to the game today, 4:30. Be there. Thanks, Marianne, Fiona, and Leah. We hope to see you at the game today. You may have noticed the new apparel in the hallways. Let's get the inside scoop. Here we have senior Ryan. What inspired your look today? Um, today is definitely going to be the senior day look. We start with the pink polo, um, the pink necklaces, layering of course, and then we go down to the pink shoes, um, white with pink accents, 19 of course, um, pink nails, pink everything. I got this from the Sacred Heart bookstore and it's super soft and super cute and I wear it every day. And here we have Uniform Expert Miss Aguirre. Um, what are your thoughts on the new online bookstore sweatshirts? I can't be more happy with the online bookstore. I haven't taken any sweatshirts and it's September 18th. Coming to you live from the fashionista herself, Mrs. Benson, um, could you give us some tips about how we can spice up our uniforms? Well, first and foremost, you always want to be in uniform. So I would say ways you could spice it up is nail polish, earrings, or you could go to the online bookstore and customize Sacred Heart apparel that suits your needs. These are the socks. These are the higher pair, like the longer pair of socks. 
I personally really like the tank top because you can wear it to sports and it's just a really nice like light material. I don't know about you, but we love the new sweatshirts. Thanks, Paige, Avery, and Claire. Let's have some fun with this month's hall pass. Hello, I'm Leah. And I'm Isabella. And this is Trivia. Follow us for a, a, great, time. a great time. How tall was the tallest man? That ever met? Mm -hmm. Oh, that ever lived. Um, six feet nine inches. Correct. Wow! Wow! No, you got it wrong too. Life is short. You have to lose six. Yeah, yeah. Feet are in a mile. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yes. Two, three seconds. It's like three thousand. No, I don't know. Three thousand two hundred and eighty-one. Is that right? <laughs> two thousand two hundred and eighty. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes, awesome. <laughs> I don't know. It's a common thing. I just didn't think I knew it. It's a common piece of information. Yeah. No, 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 no. How many feet are in a mile? Wait, what? <laughs> How many feet are in a mile? Yeah. Yeah, like 30 seconds. 3,518. Yeah! Oh my god. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> That was so good! <laughs> Which state is one syllable? Maine. Wow. <laughs> Thanks Izzy, Leah, and Morgan. Well, that's a wrap. From, from our heart, heart to yours, thank you for watching today from the heart. heart.